Hi, my name is Brutus Meridius. Today, I would like to tell you a story about what I saw this week. It all started when I was on crowd control for when this Yeshua guy came to town. Everyone seemed to be happy for him and were laying down leaves on the road for him to walk over. Over the next few days, things seemed to go pretty well for Yeshua. Later that week, things took a turn for the worse for Yeshua. I was sent to guard the Jewish leaders when one of the crazy followers of Yeshua came to meet them. It seemed really sneaky and I didn't know what was said at the time, but I definitely saw some money being exchanged. It looked like quite a bit of silver. So I found out a bit later that the guy who came was called Judas. He was going to help us catch Yeshua underwear. We are going there now and we are going to arrest the one he kisses. Up. Let's be going. Look, my betrayer is here. My friend, go ahead and do what you have come for. James, let's get him! Put away your sword. Those who use the sword will die by the sword. Whoa, did he just put his ear back on? Am I some dangerous revolutionary that you come with swords and clubs to arrest me? So from there, we took Yeshua to the Sanhedrin. That's like a gathering of the Jewish leaders. I guess they were going to give him some sort of trial. Though, to be honest, my mind was elsewhere. I was wondering where my comrade Claudius was. Hey guys, I wonder what's going to happen to that Yeshua bloke. Hey, weren't you with Yeshua? Oh, yeah, nah, not me. No, I'm sure it was you. It was definitely you. Claudius, my friend. Hail Caesar. Oh, yeah, Brutus. Hail Caesar. <sighs> Time to hit the hay, I think. Message for you, Brutus. Hail Caesar. Thanks. Hail Caesar. Next, I headed back to the Sanhedrin. The Jewish leaders decided they wanted to put Yeshua to death. I don't know why, really. He hadn't done anything wrong as far as I could tell, but I had to take him to the Roman governor, Pilate. There, he would have his official trial. Alright, Yeshua. Let's go, mate. Huh. I wonder why he brought that cheap rope with all that silver he had. I stood next to Pilate as Yeshua's trial happened. It didn't really seem fair, but the crowd just kept yelling at Yeshua, Crucify him! Crucify him! some of Pilate's personal guards took the opportunity to take advantage of Yeshua. They tore off his clothes and placed a purple robe on him to mock him. 
Then they twisted up some thorns and put them on his head as a crown. They spat on him and continued to beat him. They hit him with clubs. I stood there frozen, not knowing what to do. These officers outranked me. There's nothing I could do to stop them. I just hoped Yeshua's God would come and save him. It was now time to head up to Golgotha, the place of the skull. You, what's your name? I'm Simon, Simon of Cyrene, sir. Simon, help this man carry his cross. Sounds good to me. Hey Jesus, hey Jesus, you want some wine Jesus? Jesus, you want some wine? You want some wine? <laughs> oh no, we can't get it. <laughs> hey Jesus, you want a sign? You want a sign? Hey look Jesus, I can climb up right here. Look Jesus, hey Jesus, Jesus. I'll give you a sign. Look, yep, okay. It's gonna say, King of the Jews. <laughs> Ta-da! You know, I've been to plenty of crucifixions before, but my gut told me there was something different about this one. And I was right, you won't believe what happened next. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Surely he is the son of God. A friend of Yeshua's called Joseph had a tomb that he used to put Yeshua in. Pilate sent us there after the Jewish leaders were worried and complained that someone would try to steal his body. Alright, you can place the large rock across now. placed a seal to make sure that it was not moved. Now, we just needed to stand there and guard to make sure no one comes to take the body. You know, it shouldn't have been that hard, but uh, we did get a little bit tired. Now, I know I said that you wouldn't believe the earthquake, but you really won't believe what happens next. there for a while. I blacked out. I became like a dead man. But before I blacked out, I saw the tomb was empty. We met with the Jewish leaders to report what happened. I thought they might believe me about the angel because they believe in the same God as Yeshua. Now, do not say anything about how this happened. You are to say his disciples came in the night and stole him away while you were asleep. I know this wasn't right, but they gave me a lot of money. And they said I wouldn't get in trouble with Pilate either. This was a lot of money for me and my family. And Yesha was gone anyway. It's not going to change anything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story for me. But know this, it was all true. Yeshua did rise from the dead. He truly is the Son of God.